Hello, I am Corey Stewart, Chairman of the Prince William Board of County Supervisors. I would first like to begin by wishing all of you and your families a very happy new year. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to all the new residents of Prince William County. We are proud that you have chosen our community as your new home. Over the last 10 years, Prince William County has risen to national prominence. We have become one of the most desirable communities in the nation in which to live and our quality of life continues to attract thousands of new residents. We are now the home to more than 430,000 residents. Families are particularly drawn to Prince William County with its safe neighborhoods, excellent schools, growing job base, and rising prosperity. Our community has worked hard to achieve this quality of life. Our school system, which is now one of the largest in America, with over 86,000 students has opened 17 new schools in the past 10 years alone and offers parents an unrivaled choice of specialty programs and specialty schools. On transportation, Prince William County boasts the most ambitious road construction program in the Commonwealth, and motorists will soon enjoy more than $500 million worth of new road improvements over the next five years alone. And thanks to our police department and other law enforcement personnel, our violent crime rate has been cut in half since 2007, making us one of the safest communities in America. Perhaps what is most astounding of all is this. We have made all of this progress while keeping Prince William County tax bills the lowest in the Washington, D.C. region. Average tax bills in Prince William County today are 30% lower than those in neighboring Fairfax and Loudoun counties. We have accomplished this in part through focusing on core priorities, education, transportation, public safety, and by reducing spending in other areas. We've had to make some tough choices, cutting $143 million during the recession from our base budget. We also instituted a zero-based budgeting process to continuously search for more savings. That process has saved county taxpayers an additional $27 million and will assure that our county government will continue to be lean going forward. This conservative approach on budgeting has resulted in Prince William County achieving a triple AAA bond rating status from all three bond rating agencies, resulting in an additional $30 million plus in future bond financing savings. But improvements to education, transportation, and other public services have been funded primarily through economic growth. Prince William County is business friendly, and it shows. The county has been rated number one in Virginia for job growth and number three in the United States. Last year alone, the Economic Development Department worked on 20 new projects worth over $1 billion to the Prince William County economy. This is the highest annual investment total in the 17 years that Prince William County has been tracking economic development investment. And with a median household income of more than $93,000, we are among the wealthiest county in America. So things are good, but we also have much to do. Class sizes in Prince William County schools are still far too high. Our school system has developed, however, a plan to begin reducing class sizes starting next fall. It is a modest plan to begin, but it will at a minimum, get us started in the right direction. The plan will require the cost of hiring a significant number of new teachers and other teaching personnel. But the impact of these new ongoing costs on taxpayers can be mitigated if we approach this problem gradually. Achieving this plan will also require that our school system incur no new cuts from the Commonwealth. We need the General Assembly to restore the cost to compete funds, which cost Prince William County schools more than $20 million. County taxpayers cannot continue to make up for these cuts from the state, which have had a disproportionate impact on Prince William County. On public safety, we must make certain that we keep pace with our growing population. This means that we restore the police and fire and rescue staffing plans. Our Department of Fire and Rescue needs additional staff to provide the entire county with top of the line 24-hour fire and life support coverage. For police, 
the board approved a comprehensive plan that calls for 25 new officers per year. But we have only approved a budget to provide 10 sworn officers per year. While that is a good step in the right direction, we as a board must provide the necessary support going forward to meet our goals. Finally, with regard to parks and recreation, we need to make good on the wishes of the community and fund the remainder of the voter approved 2006 park bond. We need to meet the demands of more field space for soccer, little league, softball, lacrosse, field hockey, more swimming pools, youth football, and other growing sports. We took a step in the right direction last year by appropriating $3.1 million in one-time money for field improvements at Saunders Middle School, Gainesville Middle School, Godwin Middle School, Long Park, Veterans Park, and Fuller Heights Park. But we also need to find ways to build indoor recreational facilities as well, especially when the weather is cold, which are necessary not only for the youth, but for adult athletic participation as well. The quality of life and the health of our residents require a multitude of recreational options, and we are a community that can deliver on those needs. Building a community is no easy task. It requires one to seek out the voice of the everyday resident. The residents who make no clamor uh, or political speeches, the residents who go to work every day, tend to their families and speak to their neighbors about what they want from this community. We all know them. We all meet with them every day. But are we willing to listen to them and move forward to strive to finish the work we have been tasked? How will we be remembered, both as a board and as a community? Let's be remembered as a generation of great stewards who worked hard, made tough choices, invested in the future, and made a great community even better. I again want to wish you all a happy new year. May God bless you and your families in 2014.